do, but I don't know if, I mean, Good. good morning guys i feel like i haven't talked to you in a minute and that's because i haven't i haven't picked up my camera in about a week because last week was very very hectic i had midterms and i was doing demos and i was just really focusing on my training so i didn't really have the time to pick up my camera and nothing exciting was really happening but i did miss you guys i really do love showing you guys my day-to-day -day life taking you guys with me everywhere I go showing you what I do so I'm really gonna start focusing more on YouTube so I'm gonna update you guys right now my last video I told you guys that Nick dropped my carbs Nick dropped my Nick dropped my macros significantly to get me leaner with the mini cut that we were doing and he dropped my macros down a lot like I told you guys it was the lowest I've ever had my macros and I wasn't necessarily hungry my brain was just like you got to do what you got to do like this is the goal that you have this is the goal that you're trying to reach so it didn't really give me a chance to think like oh i'm hungry or oh my god i'm so tired so my brain was ready to grind 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 but my body was just like no girl you gotta stop i was getting migraines my workouts weren't that great i was very very tired in the gym so last monday let's see what day is it i, I never know what day we're on and i'm sorry if it's loud it's raining it's a very ugly day and I'm going to class now so hold on let me tell you guys February 13th last Monday I checked in with Nick and I told him that everything that I just told you guys that my body was feeling feeling very lethargic I wasn't dropping any weight I was staying steady at 131 that's my lowest weigh in this entire mini cut I did weigh in at 130 but it was I stayed at that weight for one day and then the next day I jumped right up to 131 so I was staying steady at 131 pounds and even at my lowest macros i was at 131 so my body was not trying to drop weight nothing was happening even with the cardio even with the really low macros nothing was happening so i expressed my frustration to him and basically what he told me was that my metabolism wasn't at an optimal point in order to be in a deficit again so last year i cut all by myself and i was in a deficit for about six months and i'm not sure like how much weight i dropped I just did it for me I didn't do it for any photo shoots or nothing I just did it so I could be a little bit leaner and then I bulked my my first ever bulk was from the end of August to January so my carbs got up to 20 carbs and um, I was like fluffy if you guys follow me on Instagram I'll leave my handle right here and in the description box below you guys can see my four-week transformation from working with Nick but basically what he told me was that my metabolism wasn't at an optimal point to be able to be in a deficit again so what he wanted to do was switch gears and go from being in a deficit to reverse dieting so right now i'm currently reverse dieting this is my second week reverse dieting and wait till i tell you guys my macros right now well when he first up, like up my carbs he told me to increase it all the way to 200 carbs so at my lowest days were 100 and that bounced up to 160 I would have to check and I'll put it here if I'm wrong but I think it went up to 160 and then on my training days it went all the way up to 200 and guys I weighed in at 131 so I I checked in Monday which was this week February 20 and he's like uh, I'm really happy that the scale hasn't moved that you're at 131 like your body doesn't look any different from Eating the low calories to eating the current ones. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna bump it another two, 25 grams So right now I'm eating 225 grams of carbs and I'm still at 131. I'm very very happy that I'm eating a lot of food and Things are going really really well. I've never successfully done a reverse diet on my own I've always just like all right. I'm not in a cut anymore. You could just eat whatever you want um, Okay, you're bulking might as well just eat whatever the fuck you want again. So now that we're reverse dieting correctly I really really feel that it's gonna make a difference. So that's where I'm at right now. We've switched gears from getting lean to reverse dieting and putting on some good quality tissue for my next goal that I have not mentioned yet but if you guys follow my Instagram then maybe you can kind of guess what it is but I'm, I'm not ready to say what my goals are for the future just yet but yeah that's where I'm at right now with my physique my current macros and um 
yeah so something that i've really really been focus focusing on is putting those carbs to use so i don't want to just be eating to eat and then not facilitate those carbs in a good way every time i step into the gym i go in there with a purpose every time i'm doing a workout an exercise i do it with a purpose i really i'm telling myself throughout the entire workout earn those carbs earn those calories that you're consuming because if you're just eating and you're not training adequately like matching those calories and it's just gonna turn into fat and you're not even using the calories in a good way so i'm really really pushing myself in the gym my workouts have been insane and yeah so i got a new training protocol so i'm gonna have a lot of new workouts coming out for you guys um some more recipes my next video is gonna be a low carb macro friendly pizza recipe because i'm gonna make that probably tomorrow so i'll film that and upload it for you guys um breakfast pizza i have a lot a lot of stuff coming i have a lot of ideas firing in my head i'm gonna be filming content with bpi the company that i'm affiliated with i'm gonna be shooting some fun stuff for my vlogs going to cool locations so stay tuned if this is your first time watching my videos hit that subscribe button so that you can come and enjoy the fun with me i'm very very excited if i haven't said that enough so i'm gonna go to class now i think i've been talking for like 10 minutes but um yeah so i'll see you guys in the next clip because the vlog isn't ending here
that workout and as always I had a very very good leg workout so I showed you what I do prior to working out legs and that's activating my glutes so I really take like 10 15 maybe even 20 minutes depends on how tight I am to really activate my glutes so I'm a very very quad dominant person um, I have an anterior anterior pelvic tilt which means that like my back is just arched and like my booty pops out I think that has to do with my scoliosis and just always walking like with my butt poking out like since I was like small so um, because of that my hamstrings are already in a stretched position and when I do squats when I do leg press when I do hip thrusts my quads really want to take over my hamstrings and my glutes so before lifting I want to make sure that my glutes are as activated as possible so that's why I do those um, exercises that I showed you and the band is excellent the band you can do so many different exercises with the band what I usually do are um, I do crab walks front and back maybe like 30 times so 15 forward 15 back then I do body weight squats really focusing on I sink my glutes down so I really make sure that I'm like I'm like this is my butt right it's usually like this I make sure I like kind of like curve it inwards so I, when I squat down it's all on my glutes and I use the bands around my ankles so that way um, my knees don't cave inwards sometimes I put them around my my knees but that's usually with a heavy band and I was just using a medium band today again I'm sorry if it's kind of loud in the background it's still raining I'm in my car I'm in front of Publix I want to go get some rice because I don't have rice to cook for my post-workout meal and I don't want to get out of the car yet and wet myself because it's gonna be cold and whatever but that's besides the point so hopefully you guys can hear me good enough um so yeah I do the crab walks back and forth I do the squats the body weight squats with the band um, then I do kickbacks so I get on my knees and I do kickbacks with the band around my ankles and that focuses on my glutes a lot then I'll do hip thrusts um, hip thrusts with the bands again around my knees and then around my ankles I'm sorry and then at the top of the movement I'll you see that I spread my legs out that way and that's to really hit the abductors the outer glutes and it also opens up my hips so I'm a student I'm a full-time student I'm usually on my ass all day if I'm not in the gym I'm sitting and that really makes my hips and my hip flexors really really tight so I didn't show you my stretching routine I just showed you my glute activation routine but if you guys want me to show you my stretching routine I can definitely include that too in my next video or in a future video but when I stretch I really 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 focus on stretching on my hip flexors especially since I knew I was going to be hip thrusting I don't want to get injured I want everything to be stretched and ready to go that was my glute activation routine i hope that you guys try it it works really well my glutes get fired up and they're ready to go so those are my tips that's my glute activation workout exercises whatever try them out to get your booty popping now i'm just gonna wait i'm gonna wait till the rain goes down a little bit i'm gonna show you guys the camera doesn't do it justice but it's raining like a mother out here date I'm freaking drenched and I didn't just get rice <laughs> I got something else complete cookie I love these you guys I'm gonna eat this now as my post-workout meal and then I'm gonna go visit my goddaughter because I actually called her to make sure that she was in a good mood because she is almost three but right now she's in her terrible two so she has like mood swings like one day she'll be really really nice to you and then the other day she'll just be a bitch and so I called her and she was like madrina I'm her godmother she's like madrina come visit me so of course I'm gonna go visit her I mean that's my goddaughter so I'm gonna eat this and then I'll show you guys I'll introduce you to my goddaughter I'm here I'm here <laughs> Introduce yourselves. No, stop. There it is. Aww, you guys love me. No. We're just missing Kevin. Kevin, get out of your butt over here. Okay. Bye.
Bye. Bye. Bye. Bye. Así, mira, así, así. Bye. Bye. Good morning, guys. Today is the next day. I finished, stopped the vlog yesterday because I was spending time with my goddaughter and my cousins, which I don't see all the time of school gym and all that stuff so I left it there I'm about to eat my pre-workout meal which is going to be half of the birthday cake complete cookie I'm gonna eat half of this and I'll eat the other half tonight with my oats so I'm gonna go to the gym right now I'm gonna do back and shoulders and then I'm gonna come back and do my post-workout meal which is gonna be the macaroni pizza recipe that I'm gonna show you guys in my next video so I'm gonna conclude the vlog here but before I end of the video I wanted to mention that I saw the last video that I posted and for some reason YouTube decided to edit my video because it said that it was too shaky and I just noticed like yesterday when I clicked on the video and it looks terrible like I look super wavy and I just want you guys to know that that's not how my videos are gonna be I don't know why YouTube decided to edit it I don't remember clicking like accept for them to edit it I don't even know if they asked me to edit the video but I assure you that it's not gonna happen again I would I would have deleted the video if I would have seen it like right away when it uploaded but since it's been like two weeks and it has like good information on there of where I was in my mini cut and whatnot I'm just gonna leave it up but that's it's like horrible quality like I don't even want to look at it so I'm sorry if you guys don't like it but the rest of my videos are not gonna be like that um but yeah so I just wanted to quickly mention that so you guys don't think that you know I had a sucky video because it wasn't my fault okay so that's it i'm gonna end the video here if you like this video if you like like the vlog style more than the just workouts and recipe style video let me know in the comment section below give this video a thumbs up if you liked it subscribe if you haven't already and i'll see you guys in the next video bye